Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson have confirmed their relationship. In a bold public display of affection, Kim, 41, and Pete, 28, were seen holding hands on Wednesday while celebrating his birthday in Palm Springs, California, DailyMail.com's exclusive photos reveal. Neither Kim nor Pete could hide their beaming smiles as they took a stroll near her mom and your Kris Jenner's $12 million mansion where they have been staying together, leaving little doubt their relationship is more than a passing fling. It is the first romantic partner for the reality star since she filed for divorce from estranged husband Kanye West in February this year. Kanye, 44, who has now legally changed his name to Yee, was briefly linked to model Arena Shake in June. Meanwhile, Pete, who turned 28 on Tuesday, has previously been romantically involved with a slew of celebrities including Bridgerton star Phoebe Dynver, Kate Beckinsale, and his former fiancée Ariana Grande. Ariana once famously gave Pete a very naughty reputation by commenting on the size of his manhood in a Twitter exchange, which popularized the phrase Big DK Energy or BDE. In DailyMail.com's exclusive pictures, Mom of four Kim can be seen showing off her famous curves in a white leotard and a pair of oversized grey sweats, as she holds hands with Pete who is wearing her skims pajama trousers and a black t-shirt. Interestingly, Kim decided to wear a pair of white Yeezy sneakers, designed by her ex Kanye, for the public outing. Later, the comedian, who was sporting dark nail varnish, was seen smoking what appeared to be a pre-rolled marijuana joint which is legal in California. DailyMail.com has learned that Pete was in Palm Springs for 24 hours but had to leave to get back to work, leaving Kim behind. The reality star was seen stopping by a convenience store during her outing with Pete. She appeared to pick up some items inside the store. Pete's trousers are from Kim's holiday collection of loungewear which they were both been seen wearing the day before in an Instagram photo of the pair posted by hip-hop legend Flavor Flav, at Chris Compound. In that image, Kim wore the skims bottoms while Pete rocked a matching top, teasing their fans by already wearing matching outfits together. The post comes as multiple reports have suggested that Kim and Pete have now fallen for each other. A source close to Kim exclusively told DailyMail.com recently that Pete is very aggressive with her as he often grabs her waist, compliments her butt and touches her hair when they are together. He is extremely sexual and in her face. He is making it crystal clear he likes her, the confidant said. He definitely is not being aloof or playing coy, he is just going for it. And she seems to be loving the attention. It's nice to see her happy. Rumors of a possible romance were first sparked when the two kissed during an early October SNL skit as she played Princess Jasmine and he portrayed Aladdin, and while initial reports claimed they are just friends, fans believed something more significant was brewing. Weeks later, she was spotted at Knott's Berry Farm in Buna Park, California for the theme park's annual Halloween event with a group of friends, including Pete, her sister Courtney and Courtney's new fiancé, Travis Barker. Pete and Kim reportedly enjoyed a private rooftop dinner at Campania in Staten Island earlier this month, followed by a group outing at Club Zero Bond the following night. The couple were said to have been alone the entire time with private security standing outside. Pete, whose exes also include Margaret Qualley and Kaya Gerber, made light of the dating rumors while promoting his new show, The Freak Brothers, on Late Night with Seth Meyers earlier this month. I want to address something. I feel like I want to confirm if it's real," Seth said, referring to his various sightings with Kim. Cutting in, Pete joked, there's a lot of people I walk by, people are like whispering, and, you know, making eyes at me. And, you know, but it is true. I do have a show on too by coming out.
for the public outing. Later, the comedian, who was sporting dark nail varnish, was seen smoking what appeared to be a pre-rolled marijuana joint, which is legal in California. DailyMail.com has learned that Pete was in Palm Springs for 24 hours but had to leave.